Hello, is someone there? Give me a heart attack, you son of a bitch! What are you doing here? I wanted to apologize for being so insensitive. Yeah, it's too late for that. No, it's not too late. We can work it out. I love my wife, but I really do enjoy having sex with you. <gasps> That's the best you've got? But pretty soon everyone will know just how pathetic you really are. I'm afraid I can't let that happen. It didn't have to end this way. Freeze! SPPD! Hands in the air! You don't understand. She's very sick. I was only trying to help. I don't think so. And woman to woman? It's time to ixnay this shortcut. Wait up. Be partner. Put your hands behind your back. Check up there. Great work from the whole team. He's bound to have Stu stashed up there somewhere. What is this? I haven't seen Stuart in over a week. I thought so! That was impossibly fast. Six charade? Were you planning on here, Tucker? Sean. You see, he couldn't just kill Polexi in cold blood. She was bound to have told someone about the affair. He needed a patsy, and in walks Stu. Over the edge, and convinced he had been bitten by a werewolf. Evil black light bulb goes off. First, Dr. Ken Tucker gave Stu the wrong drugs to ensure that he'd be passed out at the witching hour. The next night, he waltzed into our office, where we slept under what we thought was the blanket of protection a double bolt lock provides. You never locked the door. He smashed our window, stole Stu, and killed two grizzled hunters with an injection of something I presume is untraceable. Then he actually proceeded to wolf them up using the tastelessly mummified claws of the beastly pelt that I now wear on my head as a tribute to its power and grace. It's an awful act. Taxidermy. And of course, the murder thing, too. And finally, he branded Stu with a pentagram and left him unconscious at the scene. All leading to tonight, when he would kill Polexia and let poor Stuart confess to everything. For what it's worth, I only went into the woods to kill a deer. The hunters were a mere crime of opportunity, a happy accident. Oh, that's worth absolutely nothing. You're the sickest of us all. Well, Spencer, I guess I should have listened to you. Of course, no one else would have either, so... Does this mean you're gonna pay for our window? <laughs> yeah, right. That's rich. <sighs> Gus gave them to me, just in case. Of course he did. Good thinking. You can never be too safe. 